NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building is one of the most iconic buildings along Florida's Space Coast. This single-story building can be seen for miles. Built originally for the Apollo program, it would become an integral part of the shuttle program. Now it is used in support of Artemis. Join us as we get an exclusive look inside the largest single-story building in the world. Hey, good morning everyone. Um, I'm Madison Tuttle. I'm a public affairs specialist here focusing on the Artemis program. I'm, I hope you've all heard about Artemis already, but this is NASA's plan to send humans back to the moon. Um, so this is the building uh, where we stacked um, the Artemis 1 moon rocket and where we'll stack the uh, coming Artemis missions. But this is also the building where all the Saturn V's for the Apollo program and all 135 space shuttles were stacked in here. Um, so some people refer to this building as the Space Cathedral because uh, there's a lot of history in here. Um, so originally constructed to support the Apollo program in the early 60s, um, as we're making our way down the building, I'll try to point out um, some of the uh, original components that were used for Apollo. And this building has evolved over time to support NASA's additional programs, um, and they've kind of evolved it on a neat basis. So like if you look here, you see those orange platforms. So those were used for the Apollo program. So as they got pieces, I'll make sure we don't get hit by this car really quick. <laughs> All right, they're going that way. So as they got pieces of the Saturn V rocket here inside this building, um, this is kind of their testing and checkout cells, right? So before you stack all the pieces on top of each other, you wanna make sure that they're all gonna fit together and they're all ready for launch. Um, you can kind of think of the rockets we bring in here as a kind of highly explosive set of Lego, right? We're kind of all roads lead to Kennedy Space Center and here at the Vehicle Assembly Building, we get all the pieces and parts of the rockets uh, inside this building. Um, so where we're standing right now, we call the transfer aisle. Um, so as those pieces come in, um, they're usually wheeled uh, down this aisle or into our high bays. Um, so right now we're standing in the low bay of the building. You probably can't tell because it looks pretty tall. But um, as we go about halfway down the aisle to the high bays, you're gonna be looking about 500 feet straight up. Um, this building is 525 feet tall, uh, largest single story building in the world by volume, and it's divided up into four high bays. So we have uh, two and four on this side, and one and three on this side. And if you saw the side of the building, those are those big gray doors. Um, so those are where the rocket uh, rolls out of. So right now uh, we're using high bay three. We'll get a good look at it uh, once we get down the transfer aisle, but that's where they're stacking the Artemis uh, moon rocket right now. Um, I'll just keep talking a little bit more about the building. Um, you probably see that big yellow crane there. So that's one of five overhead cranes that we have in this building. Um, so this is what we call the low bay crane. Um, and then once we walk to the high bay, you'll be able to see the other ones. But again, that's what we use to stack all the rockets together. Um, that is a very, very specialized job. Number one, you definitely cannot be afraid of heights. Yeah. Um, you can kind of see that crane pad. It has windows angled down, so you're looking straight at the floor. Um, but that team gets up there. Uh, there's a team on the ground that's making sure that they hook everything up correctly. And then they take the pieces, lift them uh, for SLS and Artemis about 200 feet up in the air, up and over and down. And they just keep doing that process until that rocket's fully stacked. How long does it take to put the rocket down? Um, for each piece, uh, it takes about a shift, so about eight hours. That's not for the full lift, but that's getting it ready on the ground. The actual lift itself probably takes about an hour, and then they're really, really slow when they lower it down. So usually about an eight hour shift. And they have to roll back. I know you don't like to do that, but if they have to roll back, do they go back to the same bay or do you, are they universal? Yes, yeah, they go back to the same one. So we'll see it a little better down there, but each bay is configured uh, for the rocket that's there. Um, so you'll see how the platforms are shaped. Um, it's, it's a perfect fit, you know, for what rockets are. So they will always go back to the same bay. Yep. We know during the Artemis One launch, yes. they rolled back yes. for hurricanes. Uh -huh. What are hurricanes like inside this building? Yes. Yeah, so this oh hurricane is rated to sustain hurricanes. Obviously, we're here in Florida, so it's an occurrence that you know we're prepared for. Um, so essentially, you know, all the doors. I mean, they're mostly closed right now, but they kind of, you know, close up the building nice and snug. And yeah, this building is prepared to take on hurricanes. So. so so if you want to survive an hurricane, you come Yes, yeah, and the okay. building next door, the Launch Control Center, Noted. that's the place you want to be. So when we have hurricanes here, there's a whole team that rides them out. And oh, so wow. they get asleep and have a sleepover in the Launch Control Center, making sure that the center is all safe and sound. Uh, I think we can keep walking down the aisle. Um, I'm sure Allison already told you, but you should be able to take photos of anything.
anything in here. Um, <clears throat> if I see anything squirrely, I'll let you know, but it should be all good. So yeah, this is uh, original uh, to the Apollo program. So this is where I was saying they would put some of the rocket pieces inside these platforms. Um, and this is where they would check them out. And so we're about to cross over from the low bay into the high bay, as you can probably see. Um, something really cool about this building is the original architects wanted to build something that could be used for decades and decades to come. So if you were going to stand on the roof, there's actually steel tilings that go up through the roof, so that if one day they wanted to completely remove the roof and make the building taller, they could. Wow. So they really had a vision you know, for this building. Really, really How long did it take them to make the building? It was about five years to get it completely built up. Midway in the building, this nod to the shuttle program had signatures from the shuttle team that had contributed to the success of the shuttle program. So the crawler is pretty amazing, also built in uh, the 60s to support Apollo. But what happens is the crawler transporter rolls under here at its top speed of about one mile per hour. Uh, the platform, you can kind of see it sitting on yellow jacks right now. So the crawler comes up under there, raises up, that gray platform sits on it and then rolls to the launch pad. So for Artemis, uh, it takes about 10 to 12 hours to get to the launch pad. It's traveling at a little less than one mile per hour. But it is a little noisy, so if everyone's okay with it, maybe we can go upstairs a little way. I'm okay maybe with you it. You guys are not afraid to hide. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. Can we go to the roof? <laughs> no roof, unfortunately. Uh, but um, I think we'll take you guys about 200 feet up. Um, and that's where they would lift the segments up and over. So to get a better view and to get away from this yeah. lovely day. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> we're going up. I think they said about 200 feet up, but we're going up. All right, is everyone ready to go upstairs? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> The behind the scenes B&B &B tour. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, these are my favorite elevators at Kennedy Space Center. Um, they get you where you need to go real fast. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Who's gonna hit all the buttons? <laughs> 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 Christmas 37 yeah, floors. Christmas. Oh. <laughs> We're going to space? Yes. We're, so which elevator is it? The one space that position. has for the roof where it says space and then for the ground floor. That is launch at pad. launch pad 39A okay. where the crew will be going. Yeah, so they just added that. It's pretty awesome. Oh my god! Wow. Wow. <laughs> Why didn't we go to 37? noisy down below they allowed us to come up to 15th floor 16th floor uh, I'll have to roll back the footage and see what <laughs> floor we got off on I was just too excited to be in this building and to get a behind-the-scenes upper view look of the building so right now this is amazing I just I, I can't put it in the words really uh, being in a building that I had seen all my life growing up out in the distance to be able to get inside of it, 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 the size of this building, it's unbelievable. You can't, even inside, it doesn't feel as big as it actually is. But if you look, you may not be able to see it. Maybe you can. There are people working there on one floor, and really, they're just ants if you look at the, the size of this building. Right here, there's some kind of memorial um, for the astronauts that we lost in both the Columbia and the Challenger. 
I don't know if this is something new or if this gets brought out on special occasions or what. So yeah, <laughs> if you're scared of heights, you definitely don't want to be up here. I, I'm fortunately not afraid of heights and this is amazing. Be this high up and see all the work. There's one of the cranes. American flag. So we're still inside the VAB. There appears to be a piece of a rocket or something behind me. Um, this is a working area, so we're limited on where we can go. It's not free range. <laughs> and this building, wow, just in this room, you can really feel how big and how high it goes. And you can see we've got people working. Look at that. vehicle assembly building it's a working building you've got vehicles coming in tractor trailers coming in you got people working forklifts this is pretty amazing So walking out of the vehicle assembly building right now. Ah, it's a lot brighter out here than it was in there, that's for sure. <laughs> 